guys, it's Duffy here, and today we are at Kowloon City, a place where I spent my childhood and early preteens growing up. We will be revisiting to see how much it has changed. Look at this vintage cinema display. I can already feel Elvis coming back alive again. And anyways, we're now at the park. Before my favorite spot got boarded up and gatekept by them, it used to be a very lovely park. And also this jogging lane carried so much memories. I remember my dad and I were cycling and crash and it left a bruise and also my weight loss journey but look at me right now so skinny slay queen they really took we need to build a wall to a whole new level and i'm glad they didn't fully remove everything for now okay let's hop back down before the gods come down and drag us away from what i heard they're planning on renewing quote unquote renewing this part into a wet market yeah, I wish I was joking, like all the trees that stayed here for decades have to get chopped off just for them to build another market again, like <laughs> So it's my family from watching the telly Anyways, look at the arts from these borders, wow, it's very neat and stunning It also points out the specialties of Kalen City Being the old citizen, let me be your tourist guide It's known for its old flats, old shop that sells foods or essentials that my nan knows how to cook, unlike me And the nickname Hong Kong's Little Thailand more on that later in the video and every year they will host a Thai water festival where people can you know get water guns and share each other and it was very fun Kalan City was also known for how old their flats are like you know most buildings they are obviously built around like the 80s or even 70s and it's still kept to this day and there's still people living in there this bridge is indeed serving also giving a hint on what's about to come <laughs> I really love showing you all ancient stuff and what's funny is that across the border you can already travel back to the modern world and now we're entering this portal of Qing dynasty I assume sorry history teacher I was busy drawing an eye on the textbook while you're teaching the Kalan Wall city was initially used for military purposes, housing many soldiers and their families. During World War II, the stone walls were demolished by the Imperial Japanese Army. And under an agreement between the government of Hong Kong and the People's Republic of China, the Kalan Wall city was demolished in the 1990s. But some parts, um, <coughs> many I think, were preserved for incorporation into the new park. Did she time travel to 2024 to revisit her old times? That was a jump scare though, but here's some photos from that era. Shout out to the cameraman for traveling back to get these pics for us, but people have to carry groceries with hands and shoulders instead of click 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 click. Your 6 foot cardboard cutout of Shrek has arrived. Props to cameraman for being immortals, and I'm glad I was born in the right generation. Phew! Okay, but in all seriousness, I mean, it really shows how people in the 70s, uh, how the buildings in the 70s, when everything was still kept, when people were hiding in these buildings for, I don't know, their families and stuff. I kind of forgot what I just said about its history. Historians say they were roommates, besties even. Tag yourself, I'm the guy on the right. I wonder who wrote these. Definitely not a human being. See, there's an eye. Gibberish. Another gibberish. Another eye. Is that a knife? It could be a knife, but it looks a bit like candle. More ancient words. I have failed my Chinese teacher on this. Could all of these be written by an alien? Or perhaps even lizard people? And that chat. Welcome back to X Files. My ancestors used to live here. Look at me ruining that bloodline. Not gonna lie, this would be a perfect spot for a semi-secret hangout until it's noon and the elders came out and start twisting their joints. Now, I will show you guys a thing that aunties and uncles do at these places. Go Duffy, go! Slay those stiff joints out. Even social anxiety is afraid of you. What a diva. Meanwhile, she's having her own mental maniac. Let's look at more brain nourishment stuff. The Kalan Wall City Park is designed resembling a Jiangnan Garden of the early Qing Dynasty. The park, 3100 square meters in total, is divided into eight theme zones with their own characteristic scenery, matching with the style of the whole park. Oh wow, that's very lovely of them. I actually don't know what they're saying, so just nod and continue, chat. 
And now these are Chinese wells. I don't know if people used to toss coins in for good luck. Probably not because they don't want their water to taste like dust and metal or iron. However, the pond that we're gonna walk and look at Yep, there it is. It's an absolute beauty and it's very, very utterly quiet. More on that later, so let's look at what ancient people used to say and write on this big wall. Yeah, hang on a second. Let me grab my Google Translate for this. Hey, do you know what that means? What do you mean? No, you're literally Chinese. The toes are getting well fed. The urge to live with them and swim around. Gosh. We're heading to a very mystic legendary furniture where King Dynasty kept all of his uh swords, liquor from the outside world I guess. But uh okay crap, I forgot his name. But either way, love the details and the dragon on top. Perfect for storing soups and stews. If you want to drink centuries old dust and bacteria, of course. After visiting the inner places of Camwall City, we're gonna head back out to see how many other childhood spots has been doing. So walk faster, cameraman, come on! Oh wow, guess those mental crisis exercises really help the bones. Anyways, here's plenty of grass and trees for you to reconnect with nature. Instead of telling everyone to oil up, I will be there at 10. Gotta those freshness. Now this is something that modern people like me can't even explain to you what it is other than rocks. Like something that represents how building used to be. So they did add some new stuff where they talked about the histories of each attractions like Old South Gate, Eight Flower Walks, Garden of Four Seasons, Garden of Chinese Zodiac. Oh I remember that. Dude I feel like part of my childhood is coming back to my mind. Chess Garden. Oh yeah I used to run laps on this. <laughs> As I was walking, I noticed that they completely sealed shut my favorite spot. It's sort of like, uh, you know, the ancient Chinese courtroom, more like a living room. Anyways, here are some cannons in case intruder comes in during their lunch or dinner time. We know it's actually an arms house, a unit of residential accommodation, usually a house or a flat, which belongs to a charity. This is some new info that took me 16 years to know. I always thought that this was a living room or a meeting room. Also, there used to be a corner shop. Ah yes, the good old days. And anyways, here's the second entrance of the park. And even more quotes that needs the help of Google Translate. So this is what Callan City looked like before clearance in 1992. I think my parents can relate to this art piece. Also, the airport used to be in Cam City, so that's why flats back then aren't that tall. You can literally see the planes flying above you. My mom had witnessed it, big flags. Here's the art piece of how people used to live in these flats. I know it's utterly crowded and full of stuff compared to Western housing, but from what I heard, that's how they formed their warm and everyone knows everyone so feel free to borrow my soy sauce kind of community. Hence why kids back then used to go outside, touch grass more often, and play football more often. After invading my ancestors' privacy, let's head to the west or east spot of the park. And oh my days, these pile of rocks were my comfort spot of hiding in there and acting like a caveman. Oh god! I remember I used to play hide and seek with my mom under these rocks. <laughs> and one time, she scared me so bad that I ran out and dropped my phone, completely cracked my screen, <laughs> and I cried. I used to be able to crawl in and hide. No, I can't. I'm way too big. We're now at the Chinese zodiac spot, and let's find my Chinese zodiac animal. I'm a 2008 baby, so that means I am a rat, the tiniest of them all. Hello. It's been so long. Rooster. Alice in Chains reference. Glad she said Alice in Chains instead of something else. I love Alice in Chains. I believe them bones are me. Okay, back to topic. These animals are from the Chinese zodiac signs. Yep, in Chinese culture, we calculate our fate and personality for our birth year. If you're born in 2009, then you're a cow. Wait, I mean ox. Oh my god, that sounded a bit like an insult. Oops. Okay, but back to topic. Why the heck is the horse mewing? That horse was look maxing. Oh my days. And now we're back to the dragon next to the tiny tiny demure rabbit. This is the chess spot where one can play chess in real life. The Chinese version, of course. But I used to run around for weight loss reasons. Pre team fatty dove. And I've actually seen people play chess on these stools as well. A very nice and stunning feel of the sunset. Aesthetic. Oh yeah, and I used to eat desserts in this shop. After traveling back to ancient Chinese, we're now
now back to the modern world of Kowloon City. Despite being a quote unquote modern world, these shops have been here for decades. Like starting from, you know, the 50s even or the 80s. And there are shops that sell like Thai or sells other East Asian stuff. And oh my days, this bakery. When I was a kid, my parents would buy like Chinese desserts from them and they were really nice to me and we chatted. And I don't know, I hope the aunties still remember me, but nah, I was a kindergarten back then, they probably forgot about me. And there was also a shop that sells like vegan and vegetarian meats. Manager was so nice, the manager looks exactly like a Buddha. But I don't see a shop anymore, so maybe he retired and kitties! Kitty! Hello, kitty! Okay, back to topic. This Thai shop sells a lot of Thai stuff. And oh my days, this restaurant, this cha chan thing was literally part of my childhood. I remember eating their sweet desserts called like what sa yong I think it's basically like fried ball coated in loads of sugar I know it's unhealthy but being the big bad that I am yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah, and I remember back in primary, my teacher would not let us use like those correction tapes. So we had no choice but to head to that shop. I kind of forgot its English name, but Mangoi Po, like the one we filmed earlier, to get a quote unquote eraser that's specifically for erasing pens. And it completely tear my whole ass paper. Anyways, these shops were also very delicious, especially the fruits. And this one, I I forgot its name but it's called Ta Siu Dim. This shop sells a very very special thing that only Chinese culture has which is sort of like Chinese gods and Chinese stuff that protects you. Anyway, if you or one of your family members know a thing called Feng Shui then yep, you know it. I forgot to mention one more thing is that Kansas City was known for selling all of these like Chinese culture, Chinese gods, Chinese protecting stuff or Feng Shui stuff. Not only that, there's many shops that's known for its delicious foods and delicious hot pots but at the same time we saw many new shops coming into Kowloon City as well for example this Korean shop that we've never seen before till now and this western shop that is like carbonara and western stuff like sticks fries with alcohol oh my days chat let me tell you a story of how I always get my shoes at these two shoe shops okay so the first shop shoe that we oh my god kitty okay so the first shoe that we got from this shop was actually for my nan and it was a slipper and she's still wearing it to this day wait there used to be a dog and an old man in this shop what what happened where did the dog went a lot of you are definitely confused on what i'm yapping about but literally bro i grew up in this place it is my place and back in primary after my parents like drove me to school they would head down to this street to have like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea before heading to work. Bit of history about this cafe. This cafe used to be a Chinese medicine shop before the manager retired and the youngsters rented this shop and turned it into a very lovely cafe. Also, this Thai restaurant used to be crowded. It used to be packed with people and there were loads of people waiting outside. Not gonna lie, Kowloon City used to be very and oh my god, there's a car! Don't get hit by the car! Okay, but Kowloon City used to be very energetic and used to be crowded with people before I don't know all of a sudden especially after COVID it feels like everybody moved away wait hang on including me oops I shouldn't be the one to judge oopsies but let me tell you one more law about Kowloon City there used to be an old and small bakery shop where two elderly loving couples would you know make bakeries make cakes and oh my god is that Queen Sophie bro I literally miss that egg tart so so much oh I'm already drooling Oh my god, the smell brought back so many memories. Excuse me, they have even more tarts now? So this is the egg tart shop that I used to visit and get all the time. Oh my gosh, these look stunning and delicious. Indecisive moment. Oh my god, just choose one quickly. Not only that, this Rocky Road tart. Excuse me? Like after I've moved out of Cali City, they decided to include that many different flavors of egg tarts. What? That is so rude. I got the original and I got another one. My childhood is back. <laughs> I really want to eat it right now. My 
my family and I have been here for almost like years before we moved to another place. This white market and lots of other places were filled with many memories from my childhood classmates, to my teachers, aunties and uncles and overall, wow, the nostalgia is so back. <laughs> I miss the old days, but now we need to time travel back to the modern <laughs> Anyways, we're now in Kaiduk Station Square where they've built a very big and large I won't tell you yet, I'll okay, keep it right now Something that many events and many concerts can be held at ta -da! So we're now in Kaiduk Station Square and behind me is the newest and biggest sports centre The pros of building such large sports centre is that many bands can come to perform Like for example, Coldplay is coming to perform in Hong Kong So yeah, we're so excited about this new sports centre So I think the most interesting part about Kowloon City and Kaida is that Kowloon City is like it's still stuck in the 60s or 70s After a few walks and now you're back to the modern world Like you've time travelled back to 2024 Because Kaida, they have a new shopping centre But we didn't go there with two Far. But before we leave Kowloon City, the underground has a small museum where people dug up many ancient plates or something that is handcrafted while building Kai Duck. What the heck? So they have been gatekeeping these all along. So our ancestors has been gatekeeping such crafts, such arts all along. How rude of them! They already know what gatekeeping is back then. Okay, but I was just joking. Please don't take this seriously. I do appreciate how detailed and how beautifully sculptured or hand drawn those prints are on these plates and dishes. And it, was that a knife? Either way, we gotta give a huge shout out to the construction workers for digging up all of these ancient things that our ancestor has been gatekeeping so they can show it to the modern people to admire their artwork after many centuries. It is indeed treasures. Some of you might think, why is there so many jars and so many bowls? But come on guys, coming from a decade where cupboards aren't common, many people use like what, dirt or semen to form these kettles to form, I don't know, round shape, oval shape stuff for them to store soup, stews, and even piss. <laughs> yep guys, people used to store piss. Bowl with lit and queen by glaze. Hey yo! And also you can see each design patterns are asymmetrical because each of them are handmade and hand drawn. Queen by really said I passed up 50 times, but here's your glaze lid. So this is a day in Callan City where I rediscovered my childhood memories. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.